Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Motorsport Manager. In this episode we're going to be racing in Munich, Germany. But first, I'm going to have to address something. The game kept crashing again. But that did allow me to fix some things in retrospect, you know. When we finished our engine we didn't start part development. I have managed to retcon that and now we are working on brakes. That's pretty good. We've got the... Uh, the good engine is up to 60 performance almost, and we've got 48% reliability at the moment. That is still not great, but we'll work with it. The average engine is at 89%, so that's really good. You know, the gearboxes are looking a bit iffy, so we'll probably replace them soon as well. But we are working on a double set of brakes right now, just like we just finished two engines. We're designing for the next race. And deceleration will be important there, as well as top speed, Milan. That is probably the track where we are going to do the best this season. Just because, well, I'm going to try to pour some stuff in there. Anyone happen to offer any bonuses for Italy? No. And again, I'm not going to take this for a meager 100k. I'm going to wait for a better offer if I can. Because they can pay like up to a million up front. And we do have level 3 sponsor level appeal. So they should just, you know, fork over some cash and give me good things. Anyway, we're gonna go. We've got, you know, the best drivers. It's telling me that we don't have the worst engines anymore either, although we'll need to fit them before they can really show us a change. And that's all good stuff. Unfortunately, we can't get the brakes done yet. It's gonna be like five hours, sadly. It's really annoying, but you know. Sometimes you just can't have everything. And besides, I knew that I was not going to get it, so I am designing it for Milan. Which, you know, planning ahead is a good thing. Can we quickly check the engine to see? It's 53%. I could take it. It would be a risk. It would be one hell of a risk, in fact. But it might pay off. And that's the thing. We're going to fit these parts right now. I'm going to give the good engine. Or rather the average engine will go to Andre. And we'll give the good engine to Falco. They're still quite happy. Because you know. Equal contract. Number two contract. So Falco is actually happy. He's going to get a slight morale boost from his car. Even though we've got. A bit naff parts fitted mate. You know. It's not very good. I agree with that. We do need to keep an eye on our finances, though we're going through our money quite quickly. We're literally about to go to our second race, and we are already nearly at the point where we're like, eh, we can't really squeeze much more money out of that. Yeah. Yeah. I tend to go very heavy on the expenses. But it's, you know, required. We need to, we need to make a lot of parts, and I want to have the factory be at level 2. So that we can actually get more things done. And we've got some good drivers. That will hopefully be able to get more out of the car as well. We're also going to start scouting just all the drivers. Because we need to... I don't want to click on every other driver game. I just want to queue up the entire list and figure out who is who. What are they good at? You know, do they prefer to... Pee sitting, pee standing, that sort of thing. Do they wash their hands when they leave the toilet? Because they should. Just tell me everything I need to know about everyone. I think that'll be a decent list for now. Of course, it's going to take him... Well... The entire season, pretty much, to get through that giant list. But that's fine. We're not really going to think too long about hiring the bottom rank people. One person we might want to think about is Hong Liao over here. He is reserve driver for Dragon Race Team China. And that's a team I have played as before like trying out a custom team. This guy has got potential. So we may want to pick him up at some point. Our drivers are still ranked number one on the grid for some reason. Which I like. Our staff is ranked eighth Headquarters is currently low. If we do look at our engine, we are now ranked above ZR Team Autosport, which is very good. 
I like that a lot. We should be able to boot them out. So where are their standings then? They're currently tied with us, okay. They've got decent drivers. They're ranked second, but they're probably sharing a slot with someone. You've got Valdez and Dembele and Young. Good, decent people. You've actually got a lot of... Uh, you've got a lot of potential, but you're pretty naff. You're not very good. We should be able to upstage these people because we now have better engines. And engines are just better in general. So yeah, we're scouting a bunch of people. We do have one person that we have scouted. That is Faith Anthony. <laughs> Get out of here. You're not getting hired ever again. Sponsors? Last call? No. Screw that. I'm not doing that. We're going to go aim for 13th or above again. We now have slightly better cars. Getting that 200k is going to make such a difference. I would be happy if we got it. But for now, we've got a race to do. In Munich. Let us see... What is up? We will skip the lovely loading screen because, well... It's basically the track layout and a flag. Now this favors acceleration. I remember that. I did forget to check how many laps of fuel there are. Oh, that's good. It's raining. Yeah, we had a 40% chance of rain. I remember that. So, that's bad. What's the rain looking like? Ooh. Looks like we're heading out on wets. Although everyone seems to be geared for intermediates. I don't think we're going to go with that. And wow, your speed balance is off. Very off. Let's start with 25% gear ratios. Uh, we'll start with... 17 degrees of front wing angle down force and we'll leave the handling as it is for now And you know what I I do want to get a bit of intermediate knowledge, so we'll send you out on intermediates for now Probably gonna regret that but then again, we're also gonna be pit stopping every other second, so that should be fine Same setup for you really because you've got pretty much the same engine and we'll leave handling unchanged for now Make me proud, boys. I'm not going to simulate practice because the AI would ruin it. You're all both going out. Falco is driving on home territory here, so he's got something to prove. And we do immediately get a bonus from our intermediates for now. I think people might switch out for wets because it is getting really wet right now. You know, it's not going to be benefit our intermediate tires too much. Although, I guess we're technically still within the sweet spot a little bit. Now we're not. Now we're very much not. Oh, God. Right, we're going to bring him in. That is going to go down soon. Uh, Gomez, I forgot to bring you in. God damn it. I thought I clicked that, but okay. We've got good... Uh, we've got okay, great, great. That's not bad. I'm going to try messing with the tire chamber, and we're going to take away a bit of downforce. And we'll see then. Uh, we're going to keep you on intermediates. You like the gearing, that's good. I'm glad you like it. I tried my best for you. We're going to keep running the intermediates because the, wetter, uh, the water on the track is going to go away again. Gomez is doing a flying lap, but we are pulling him in, so that doesn't really matter. You need more angle on the wings. Okay. That's fine. We can work with that. We've nearly got our race trim. Level 1, that's good. You don't think it's helping. Okay, so that's important. You need more downforce. As well. That's good to know. Poor, good, great. I can work with that. Let's try something like this. Handling. Um, I'm not sure what you'd like, honestly. We'll try less. We'll try a bit more oversteer. 
softer suspension. If that doesn't work, we can always go the other way. That's fine. Because we don't know specifically yet. Let's look at Engelhart as soon as he comes back in. He is poor, excellent, excellent. Alright then. So we know he wants the downforce to be in that direction then. And we'll make it slightly more actually. We have found a sweet spot for the... Uh, for the handling, that's good. Yeah, I would like your speed balance to be slightly over there, and then maybe like this. We'll try that. That's going to take 16 seconds, but you know, if we can get his downforce fixed, that would be great. I want to keep running the intermediates as well. Gomez is going to come back in again. And we're not going to run any faster modes or anything like that. Well, actually, we might have to switch to other softs at some point. Because we're not really in the sweet spot for intermediates anymore. Tweaks of downforce are great. Nice job with the setup. That's good. That means we're more likely to do well. Okay, okay. Oh, man. So the handling went down. Acceleration went down as well. Downforce is good. We're going to... We're basically going to increase more downforce again. Just overkill it. You want a stiffer suspension. And you want a bit more top speed. Let's see how that works then. And tire choice will be... I think we'll go with softs. We'll try to make those work. Next up, bring back Engelhart. We'll make it work. What are you looking like, buddy? Please tell me it's good. Great, excellent, excellent. That is something I can work with. 97% now. I'm gonna give it a slight tweak still. Because we're nearly there now, you know? We might as well try it. And then we'll run you on the softs as well. And I know that we're gonna have to stop, you know bringing them in and actually start running. I mean, not that it really matters, but it does help with getting experience. And I would like the race trim at least. Uh, tough choices, really. Really tough choices right now. You've got an outlap. I think I'm going to leave you run for now, Engelhart. There we go. You're feeling much nicer now. That's good. Good, great, great. That's better. 92, okay. Uh, we're just gonna give you more downforce then, honestly. That might be enough. You'll want more... Slightly more handling, maybe? We'll try something like this, and then you're just going to run the race out. You're going to drive as well. Get yourself a bit of a practice run, Falco. You know, we might actually have pretty good times, because a lot of these people are driving on wets when the... The course really doesn't suit that anymore. So we're probably going to get an inflated, like, practice time because of that. That's the risk. Like, if rain comes and messes things up, yeah, you might get, like... You might get told, oh yeah, we're doing amazingly well. We're actually overtaking some people here, see? There we go. We finished third. Because of our, uh, or rather we came in third with our practice run because of the, uh, the, the slicks that we're running on. That's good. That's good. We are able to get our racing trim in there, I believe. Yeah, there we go. I don't think we're going to be able to squeeze in soft tires too, sadly. It's a bit of a shame. We did manage to come in second, eventually. But again, I want to point the court to the fact that we are driving on slicks, whereas most other people are driving on inters or wets. So, these results are not accurate. They should be taken with the largest pinch of salt you can reasonably expect to find.
You know, they were not driving on the correct tires, whereas we were. Why do we even bother supporting Dragon Racing China? It's worse than watching four rom-coms simultaneously. People think my practice session was great. Well, yeah, it was great. But that's because everyone else was silly by comparison. We got ourselves a sunny forecast here. Good stuff. It doesn't look like there's any rain, so... I think we will be aiming for the soft tire improvement here. Didn't get as much out of it as I liked, sadly. But looks pretty good nonetheless. You. You'd prefer your handling to be slightly back over there. That's fine. You'd prefer that. And then... I know, I'd like acceleration to be slightly more, like that. And we'll try a little bit more downforce. Tire choice will be soft, we've got 12 laps of fuel. We should be able to make that work. 29 laps, so I'll run you at 11, and I'll run Falco at 12. So we can be a bit more aggressive with our fuel usage. And we'll try to make it last. We should only be able to use two pit stops. If we can do that well, then we'll be good. So we'll go and confirm that. We've got Falco over here. He's got a way better setup, 98% no less. I think we're going to leave his car be. No need to muck around with that. We'll leave you on 12 laps of fuel. And then driver strategy will be aggressive. Just to begin with. Andre is starting in 4th, and Falco is in 5th. That's bad. But at the same time, it will give us a good starting point for this race. And some people are driving on intermediates. So they will fall behind the pack, but they won't have to change their tires as often. Gomez immediately trying to fight for 3rd. He does not quite pull it off. Falco, however, does squeeze into 5th. Actually overtakes Anthony Gomez at the same time, but they are... Fighting for position there. Wow. Nothing like some friendly competition, I suppose. Engelhart takes back into fifth. Gomez currently in third. Looks like the engine changes might have done us some favors after all. But we do want to be careful. We don't want to push this engine too hard this turn, this time. That will result in parts breaking down, and that would be really bad. Let's start slowly speeding up now. Falco is fighting for position over there. Gomez is hanging on quite amicably there. I think I'll move them slightly lower, because, you know... There, that's what I was waiting for. Now we're going to drop you to average. And we're probably going to start losing position here pretty quickly. Depends on... Uh, our people here. Gomez is still clitch clinging the third there, which is amazing. That's going really well. I'm really happy with that. Falco is holding up the pack there. My lord. There's a lot of guys right behind him. He is uh, he's being in a wingman right now. I like it. Gomez is still solid in third. Engelhardt is comfortable in 8th. You know, Falk was doing a good job there. He should be able to put his car to work at some point. I fully expect him to take the lead over Gomez at some point. But, you know, I will happily cling to this as long as we can. Seems like the AI is mostly agreeing with my strategy. You know, AI is a good, like, indication of what you should be doing. But, you know, you can always optimize it a little bit more. I hope Engelhardt's not about to lose his position here, you know. We're doing quite well at the moment. It's going really well, actually. We're trying not to not to burn the engine here too much. If we could just have it hold on. Ooh. We got overtaken. Oh, no. Gomez, no. Well. It was going to happen eventually. Like, that is not too much of a surprise, let's be honest. Engelhardt still clinging to 8th. Gomez now down to 6th. That's not... Good, but, you know, we are hanging in there. There's not 
it's not looking like the forecast is going to change anytime soon. It's still going to be slightly cloudy. But it is looking like it will be sunny, so the grip is going to be building up. Falco just overtook into 7th, actually. So, you know, we're clinging to the front of the pack really nicely here. And let's not forget, between number 1 and number 14, there's only 11 seconds, and it's really tight. There's a big pack right behind us there. And we are managing to stay ahead of it, just barely. I'm going to tell you to hold off a little bit. Is you are going through tires a little bit quicker, Falco. And you would expect, under the circumstances, Gomez to be slightly slower than Falco, but Falco, my god, look at the amount of cars behind him. He's holding all of that up right now. He is being a bro. And they're trying to overtake him. They're trying, bless him. But Falco is having none of it. He's able to make it count where it happens. and He's just basically body blocking them right now. That's really good. That means we are going to be in a solid position in the front of the pack here for a, quite a while. And they're just fighting among themselves and not able to overtake us. That is real good stuff. I am very happy with that. Looks like Gomez might be... Ooh. Jean-Francois Beauchamp has been given a drive through penalty for causing a collision. Ooh, he hit Gerard over there. Who do you belong to, Gerard? I don't think you're belonging to ZRT Racing. Valdez, right, we've got ZRT over here. I think that Bele is actually in first. Wow, that's going to make them tough to overtake. Anyway, Falco is still doing the tactful driving that I didn't expect him to do, but I'm glad he does nonetheless. I'm going to tell you to conserve tires a little bit, see if that may be uh, assist with holding up the opposition a little bit. Did you just... No. That message is still there, never mind. Actually, I'm going to back you off from that. I don't want you to accidentally give up that position. It, the longer we can cling to this, the better, you know? Lap 7 starts. Alright, so number 1 just passed through lap 7. We're actually holding onto our fuel quite nicely. I think we're actually being a little bit more efficient than we uh, initially expected to be. Now, there's quite a large gap between Gomez and Tang. Which is, uh, you know, not great. But at the same time, Falco is still struggling for 8th over here. Or rather, struggling to hold his 7th position. That is going so well. Just look at that pack over there. They are so screwed by this. I love it. Now, obviously, that cannot last the entire race, and we will probably drop down quite a few positions when that does eventually go. But as it stands right now, they're all slowing each other down. They are all just stopping each other. We've got Garuda Racing with Bochap on 20th. We've got Ja on 14 as well. They're all just stuck in that large pack, and they can't do anything about it. I'm going to tell Gomez to conserve his tires a little bit, because right now he's in the lead. Compared to Engelhardt over here, you know, compared to Falco. He is having a very good time. And I might have to pit Falco first. He, he's going through his tires rather quickly. I'm going to tell you to conserve, buddy. Because we are only on lap 9 right now. I prefer to wait until like lap 10 or something like that. Oh, Engelhardt did get overtaken there. Gomez actually managed to get into 5th. Wow. I'm going to pull Engart into a pit here. He needs better tires. We'll get you 7 laps of fuel, buddy. Uh, engine is holding on nicely there. Uh, we will go for... A balanced stop. We will be battling Bao Tang for 16th. Looks like a lot of people are coming into pit as well. So Gomez is able to hold on one more lap here. That should be able to help him quite nicely. We skipped a third. As people go in for pits, I'm going to set you up for a pit stop as well, buddy. There we go. We'll drop you there, and you'll take a balanced one as well. You'll be battling Bao Tang. We could... I'm not going to risk the fast stops. I don't like risking the fast stops. That's a 1 in 3 failure chance. But Gomez is doing an awesome job here right now. Engelhardt is now in the pit stop. Refueling went well. 
Tires went well. He's out. All right, good. Gomez still clinging the third here. He's got a bit of trouble. I'm going to tell you to push the tires. That's going to make it harder for them to overtake us because we are way more aggressive. Falco's now in 13th. We're still hanging on to our sponsor objective nicely here. And we are roughly pitting when I plan to. Although the tires are not really cooperating. That should be a little bit easier as the match goes on because, you know, the initial hurry, etc. Alright. Let's hope the pit crew doesn't mess anything up. That would be uh, quite terrible. Nope. All good. He exits in 11th. Not bad at all. We actually overtake him. So Falco is now in 11th, whereas Gomez is in 13th and wrestling for 14th there. Yeah. As expected, but we did have a really good start to the match here. He's now in 15th. That's not very good, but you know, we're hanging on. Falco is in 11th right now. Wow. Look at him go. We've got 18 laps remaining. That engine upgrade did miracles for us. I told you, the performance of the engine is very important in this game. We're currently on lap 12. He has lost about 8% durability on it. It's going all right. As long as we don't push his, push his engine very much, I think we'll be able to get a nice result. We're now in 9th. Wow. Wow. That is super awesome. Falco, you are a hero. You are a very good driver. You might actually be the best bloody driver in this league. We'll have to give you a better car and we'll try to prove that as we go. Yeah, we're holding on to ninth here pretty nicely. We overtook someone in the pit, someone coming out of the pit. So we're now in seventh, fighting for eighth. Ooh, are we going to be able to get it back at the corner? Yes, we are. Oh, and we lost it again. Oh. The butt clenching is real right now. Look at him go. Look at him fight. Oh, damn. We got overtaken by a massive pack there. We're back in 12th now. But the tension is so high, you can cut it with a knife in the air. Fighting for 11th again. Falling back. Falco is doing his best. This is what we hired him for. What's the forecast looking like? It's still looking like it's going to be dry. So us betting on the softs is paying off. I think I might switch to the mediums after the next pit stop, depending on how well our tires hold out. You know, if we could pit at like lap 20, we'll be able to make it on our softs. And we can basically gain a bit of performance on all these guys that are driving on medium. That would be amazing. But I am trying to conserve the tires right now. Because we're not really suffering for fuel yet, but you know, gotta be careful with the tires. If, if we can get something to happen, if we can get, you know, either someone to crash or someone to just, you know, something, you know. 19 and 20th are pitting right now, we don't really care about them, you know, screw them. We're not going to be able to overtake them, except for when we're lapping them. We don't really care about lapping them. Oh, Gomez got into a duel there with Nick Chu for a bit. Seems like we are holding on to our positions for now. 12th and 13th, still really solid. If we could get that sponsor objective, that would be just amazing. I'd be really happy with that. We're still holding on. He's going to need a lot of luck to overtake Gomez. I think Gomez is going to be able to hold on quite nicely. Chu is not in a good position, and he will have to go for a pit stop soon as well. Dragon Race Team China is actually doing pretty well. They've got Tang in third. That is going to give them a lot of points. Dragon Race Team China is predicted to come in around 7th, so they're one of our direct competitors, basically. Oh, oh, Falco was trying to make a move there. That's good. I don't want him to push his tires yet, he's on lap 17. We can push the tires out a little bit more, so that's good. We should be able to make it on just two laps and then, or rather two pits, and then just go for the softs again. We'll get these little... Performance boost out of it as well. Forecast is still looking dry. Everything is going well. Come on, Falco. We gave you a good car for a reason. Uh, we're actually going to tell them to be a bit more aggressive right now. Because the tires are getting a little bit cold. And if they get too cold, that would be negative to us. Gear changes are feeling a bit odd. Can you... Oh, God. Your gearbox... Yeah, that's a problem. 
Ooh. Ooh, did you see that? He just took him in the inside of the corner. That was beautiful there by Falco. Gomez going in as well. That is Luigi Marchetta from Octane Racing. Beautiful balance and uh, beautiful dueling there. Right, we're going to have to lay off the tires now. We're on lap 19. I'm going to have Engelhardt come in for one more pit stop. We're going to be able to push these for 10 to 12 turns. Uh, laps. We're going to go for 10 laps of fuel. We might be able to get a little bit extra out of it. I'm not going to fix the gearbox. It is a very long repair time. That would put us out of this race. And we are still going on a medium pit. Okay, that's good. I'm going to tell you to push the end, push the tires right now. Kick the tires and light some fires. We are in 11. People are planning to pit together with us. That's good. We just got overtaken by 19th. So we did lap 20. That's good. We might be able to vie for position a little bit here, but the fact that they are here does make it a bit more complicated. And we do overtake number 11. There goes Dembele. Looks like he's fallen back from uh, pole position there. We're going to tell you to be neutral again now. We're going to tell Gomez to come in for a pit. And that should... You should need like nine turns of... Yeah, there we go. You're still doing fine part-wise. Go for the balance one. That's fine. Gomez fighting for eighth position right now. With number nine right on his tail there. It's tense. It's very tense. We are holding it. Good pit stop there by Engelhart. That's good. He is currently on lap 20. He's got 11 laps of fuel. For 9 laps left. We're going to tell you to overtake, buddy. I accidentally filled you up on more than you needed. The pit, the pit thing is a bit, you know, weird like that. It does tell you that you need more fuel than you actually need. Gomez now down to 10th. Not good. Uh, I'm going to tell you to be slightly more attacky until you get into the pit. It's not going to make a difference, probably. Yeah. That's fine. We're currently 10th and 15th. Gomez in the pit stop. That's going to, you know, hurt him a little bit. Position-wise, at least. There's a mistake on a tire change. It takes six extra seconds. Oh, that hurts. That really hurts. That's why you don't want to push the uh, super pit stops there. That really hurts us there. Falco is in 13th, however. We should be able to make the tires last. Tang drop back to 8th. That's good. I don't think we're going to have to fear ZRT racing very much. If we can finish above them, we should be in 9th. That should piss our chairman off way less. Uh, you do have extra fuel as well. I'm going to tell you to be in high mode then. You're on lap 21. You've got, yeah, too much fuel as well. If we can try to burn this extra fuel, we should be uh, able to l decrease the weight we carry a little bit. We also drive a lot faster, which is nice. I'm going to tell you to be a bit more aggressive. And I'll tell you that as well. Why not? Engelhart now in 10th. Good. If we can have one decent finish here, that would really help us out with points for the season. It's only the second race, but we're already doing a lot better than we were previously. As you can tell. We've got some better parts, and it is showing. Engelhardt able to duel with uh, Dembele for ninth position here. ZRT Racing is actually doing pretty well. Uh, I'm going to have to pull you off of the super burning right now, because you might not have enough fuel left. I'm going to pull you back down as well. Yeah, I might have pushed Falco a little bit too far. I'm going to tell you to conserve, because I am a fool. If I just made a massive mistake that have massively screwed us, I am not very happy with that. Should be able to stay on his butt though for a while. Gomez. You're about to come in on lap 24. You've got six laps of fuel left, so... Yeah, we'll tell you to burn slightly higher. Falco's just going to conserve for now. He's hanging on nicely, but he's not in a great position here. Oh, did we just have a collision here? No. No, we did not. Thank God. We just had our gearbox just, you know, hit a rock or whatever. So this is bad. We're going to ignore that. We're going to take the risk. We've got four and a half laps left. Going in for a repair right now. 
would probably screw us. We did overtake Zembe Dembele over there. That's good. We did overtake him. He might overtake us back. Gomez over attempting to overtake Dreyfus over here. And he pulls it off, but we're not going to hold it. No. Oh, are we though? Yes. Yes, we are. Very nice there, Gomez. Falco is hanging on the ninth right now. That gearbox might give way at any point. The good thing is, Engelhardt has excess fuel again. I am very happy with that. We're going to stop telling Gomez to do that right now. You could be a bit more pushy, though. That's fine. We've got a couple of... Uh, couple of things left. A couple of laps. We've got 19th on our butt right now. He's trying to re-overtake us, which is a bit annoying. I wish he'd keep his distance. He did actually overtake us. That's fine. I'd prefer he keep number 10 busy, but you know. If that gearbox can hold together long enough, we will be great. You know. I took a risk on that engine, and it does seem to be the right choice. It, it does seem to be paying off. Which is just amazing. We're not planning to take any more pit stops right now. Nobody is, I think. If they are, then they basically admit defeat. Because it's driving in that pit lane at 40 miles per hour, uh, 40 kilometers per hour. It just messes you up so badly. Our drivers are doing alright. The, the number one just started lap 27. I'm going to take a risk. I'm going to tell you to start burning in slightly higher modes. We're comfortable in ninth position right now. We're comfortable in ninth. That's really good. Just hang on. Everything's fine. The part is red, so he's... Ooh, just went down to 14th. He's got a bit of an impact on his performance because of that now. Oh, for God's sake, why did your gearbox suddenly destroy itself? Oh, this is why reliability is king. The higher reliability your parts are, the less chance of this happening. This is making it a very tense race. Andre Gomez just overtook Mustafa El Sadat for place 12th. So we're now in 9th and 12th, both above ZRT. That's really good. This is really good. We've got two whole laps left now. I've no idea why my Skype suddenly shut off, but it did. That's fine. Just keep it going, guys. Hang on. One second. Something's wrong. From what I can tell, things seem to be fine, actually. Skype just decided, hey, I'm gonna restart. I'm gonna update. Back to the 10s race here. We've got Engelhardt. Maybe he has enough fuel, maybe not. I did maybe push him a little bit too much there. No, he's got extra fuel. That's right. Okay. Go back to medium then. Still solid in ninth position. This is a really good outcome for us. We've got Gomez in 12th. He might be able to push it a little bit, actually. Although I don't want to push him too much with his tires currently. We've got one whole lap left to go right now. Engelhardt is kicking it. Ooh, he's playing it very loose here. We're going to move Gomez into high. We're going to tell him to push his tires. We're going to attack with his tires. Never mind that, you know. Just go. The race is ending. That's good. If we can overtake one more person or just hold our position, I will be so happy right now. Gearboxes are our problem right now, mechanically. I'm going to tell you to attack now. Looks like we are holding on the position here quite nicely. I am not going to tell you to use more fuel, buddy. I do not trust the fact. Even if it says extra fuel, I do not trust it. I am not going to push it. And we finished ninth! Yes! Oh, that is so good. Anthony Gomez came in 12th. Oh, we are super golden. That was a really good race. God damn, that is gorgeous. We got 200,000 extra bonus money for that. Yeah! And that also really puts us in a really good position for the second... Uh, rather for the thing. Risk of rule break. We don't have any illegal parts. Do what you will. You know. We did really good there. You got the drive through penalty. That's bad for you. Falco is now in position 14 on the grid. Andre Gomez actually dropped down to 18th, wow. But we are now in 9th. We are 6 points behind both Dragon Race Team China and Archer BMR. 
But we did overtake ZRT Autosport. I know, we did come in a little bit higher there. Lots of excitement for Andre Sabato, but don't forget about Derb Digital Racing. They look strong. Hell yeah, we do. Alright, game, please don't crash again. <laughs> uh. We did good, though. I'm really happy with that. Look at that. Morale, 100%. We came 6th for that race. If we finish like that every single time, yeah, we're going to be in 6th. Solid. Chairman happiness, plus 18%. Marketability goes back up slightly. Relationship with the mechanics goes up as well. Good. You guys are starting to like each other. Look at that. Falco now has 11 braking, 18 smoothness. He just went level up. Plus 3% braking, plus 3% cornering. Stats go up depending on the um, the specific track. And Anano got slightly worse, but we don't care about Anano, now do we? <sniffs> oh, Leisha keeping the books fairly balanced. That is huge. That 200k is going to be so useful. If we do that three times, that's one more break we can design. And we don't care about the Asia Pacific Cup. And I got my brakes. And the game didn't crash. Oh, that's amazing. Interview with Gazzetti dei Motori. I think that's an Italian newspaper. I don't know. Gomez claiming about the brakes. You need to button it, Gomez. Come on. Brakes are finished. Good. We have better brakes now. I like it. We're going to build even better brakes. I'll get myself plus 20 deceleration. You give plus 50. You give... 35, you get 40, but minus reliability. I think that's alright, because we can always boost the reliability. We've got 17 days before the race. We're going to be able to boost it by... 3.8% uh, per day? So, if you do that times 10, that's like 40% almost. We can basically get it back up to mostly 100%. It should be fine. Also, that forecast for Milan is not looking good. At all. Oh my. But yeah, we're going to build ourselves better brakes here. It's got a bit of a drawback, but you know, it should be fine. It should be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. It's fine. Right. Let's go. Car repair is complete. I like it. So now we're going to go improve these brakes. You'll be done seven days before the race. Oh yeah, we do need to... Yeah. Why do you always assign everyone to performance? I don't care about performance. I need reliability here, man. I really do. So yeah, we'll be able to get that engine in good shape. We'll be able to get it some performance as well. The brakes won't take too long. I'm, yeah, I'm not going to tell them to focus on one thing or another. I'm just going to keep this going like that. We've got three weeks until the next race in Milan. Our factory is coming along quite nicely. We still need like 13 weeks. So we should be able to get it around like race 6 or something like that. Sponsors, only one offer available. Some of them ran out. That's fine. Marketability is going back up slightly. That's good. Let's continue some time here. We'll be able to get some more breaks soon. I love it. Beijing. Tell me about Beijing. Introduction to the GMA. The Global Motorsport Association. Team owners can vote here to change things. Like rules. Pretty much just vote on rules. We got two more sponsor offers. Ho 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 ho, hello. Northern Harbor. I like you. One point one and a quarter million for six races. Yes, please. That is a new part right there. Money. And we're keeping the books fairly well balanced. Like our chairman says. We can request additional funds as well. He's not going to be very happy with us. You know. But we will get 1.8 million. It's a bit early in the season, but you know, money. Money's good. We can build more cars. Oh, God. You did not tell me it would go back that far, game. Oh, God. Well, that's a risk and a half I'm willing to take. It's fine. It's all fine. Oh, dear. So yeah, we can do that once per season. 
And then we get a bit of extra cash. So we've now done two races. We'll have like eight races left right now. Duh. So we need eight times 1.3 million. That's eight. We need like 10.4 million. So we've got 7 million roughly to spend on parts. And what I might do to save us a bit of extra money, we'll set the budget of next year's car like a slightly bit lower at some point. So we can use more money to build better parts. Because, you know, better parts will actually carry over. We're not just doing it to look pretty on the on this track. Alright, we're now running that other race. That's fine. Just keep that going. There's our brakes. Lovely. We now have good brakes. 70 out of 77. That is so good. Design a new part. I think we're going to work towards a gearbox. I'm not planning this for Milan. I'm planning this for Tondola. Where we will need acceleration. Top speed is useful. Low, co low speed corners are crucial. But those are performance. Uh, those are spec parts. So we can't do anything about that. I'm going to take a 25 to max gearbox here. We could take the risky one. But we're, we're designing that for like race 4 you know. I think that's going to be a bit too risky. We'll get the one that can be improved. I want to play it a bit safer. I don't want to lose any parts. How about this? Yeah, um... I don't want to boot out the engine just yet. But I also need to work on these brakes as well. That's the thing. There's no winning here. This factory sucks. I don't think we can use these brakes unless we immediately cancel this and work on them purely. And even then, 12 days after the race. We've got 17 days until the race right now. If we do this, we might be able to push it up to reasonable standards. I think we'll kick you out and we'll start working on you. Make them slightly better, you know? It's fine. Oh. Interview about a potential Dubai Grand Prix being added to the calendar. So they want to add a new race. Oh. So that's what this was about. We're going to change on... A, we're going to vote on a new track soon. Sure, I'll accept an interview. Next week's GMA meetings all about Dubai. Could you tell us your thinking ahead of the vote? I'm yet to decide which way to vote. It is definitely tricky to see who is going to benefit from this rule change. Well, if I don't see any clear arguments either way, then I might just abstain. Because, you know, I don't really care about if they add a track right now or not. And if we abstain, we get more voting power later. So that we can vote on the things we want to vote on. Is there anything particular we need to look at here? No? You're just pausing for no reason? Thanks, game. Right, now our inbox is getting flooded. We've got scouting reports. And the vote has started on the addition of the Dubai Track DGP. It's hard to predict what impact this rule will have. I'm going to abstain. Plus one vote power during the next vote. If you choose your votes carefully, you will be able to pick and mix and just, you know, make sure you get what is useful for you. Looks like we'll have 11 races next year. All right. You know, that allows us to milk more sponsorship money. But it does give us less time in between races, which does mean, you know, you gotta be careful. That'll be interesting. That'll be interesting to say the least. Alright. Tell me the rule screen here. Short practice sessions, 27 lab races on average, 60 kph pit lane. Really? Really? I thought we were using 40 kph pit lane speed limits. Oh, that's good. That basically means you're driving a little bit faster in the pit lane. Uh, Six-man pit stop crews. We can only pit one car at a time. Stand-up merit payments. Points for all drivers. Double points for the final race. Road tires, British tires. That's all right. Not, nothing really matters here. Fuel tanks can last up to 40%. Next year rules. A new race in Dubai, so that's fine. We'll have 11 races next season. That's interesting. We'll just keep going, though. Report on the upcoming race. All right. And our mailbox is getting flooded again. Telemetry center gearbox built. Nice. Do we want to crank out another one? I think we do. 
So you give 35. I'm gonna go with the safe option here. You know, we still got a gearbox that's 78. It's gonna be done nine days after this race, but it's gonna be done. If it's nine days after this race, that's gonna be 24 days for the next race. No, wait. That's bad math. It's gonna be done nine days after that. So it's gonna be 28. 19 days, roughly? We might be able to make that work. And besides, we do need a gearbox for each car. Otherwise, you know, one car is going to be good, one car is going to be bad. So, another gearbox. There we go. Deceleration. Looking pretty. Do we fit parts? I don't know. We did get it up to 56% already. That's good. We can work with that. You know? We did just finish the gearbox. I need... Pr Reliability on that, and maybe a bit of performance as well. We'll pull out the brakes. The brakes are already pretty good, you know. We don't need to worry about that nearly as much. And I think we'll do this. It's not going to get much performance, but you know, we'll, we'll improve it a slight bit. And it is always going to be better than our other stuff right now. So to wrap up the episode, we're going to fit these parts. Um, Falco, I prefer you to get the better stuff, honestly. But it's going to make... Gomez a little bit angry. Predictably. You would not care much about a, bit, a better gearbox. That's a shame. So I think we're going to have to give you the better brakes then. You like that? That's good. You feel happy about this. I'm going to give you the better gearbox then. Even though it's an experimental part right now and sort of like half broken. You still feel pretty good, that's good. Car. Deceleration is now rated 9th. Top speed is now rated 9th. Acceleration is still terrible though. But that's because we're still working on a new gearbox as well. We're not really good at the medium speed corners. So, that is a low priority in my book. We've got the most important parts here right now done, so that's nice. I like that. And I think we'll be calling it here for this episode. Thank you all very much again for watching. Things are looking up. We did a really good race there. Depending on, like, our sponsors, you know, we can't finish sixth. That is not going to happen. But if we ever get, like, you know, someone that's like, oh, finish ninth, I might actually try to take that for the extra bonus money. And you're going to run out in one race. And we've still got 65% marketability. That's looking really good. We're going to milk all the tasty sponsors here today. It's looking really good. But yeah. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to let me know by leaving a like and perhaps a comment down below as well. Subscribe if you would like to see more. And I will catch you all next time. Until then, have a good one, folks.